Actor Saif Ali Khan, who is busy promoting his upcoming film, Happy Ending, spoke to our entertainment editor, Rohit Kilnani, not just about the movie, but also about Prime Minister Narendra Modi, how he thinks laws are different for different religions and how he is all for the Special Marriage Act. Listen in. Welcome to Headlines today. I'm Rohit Kilnani. Joining me is actor Saif Ali Khan. As always, we'll talk about movies and more. Saif, firstly, thank you so much for giving me time. Thanks, Rohit. Okay, you wrote a very nice column in a newspaper. I did read it the same day. Uh, what I want to ask you, what made you write that? Basically, I felt that, you know, it's, I could be being naive, but I feel that India should have one law. How can we think as Indians? Do you think it will work in a form civil code? Will I don't work? know. Apparently, people feel it won't work. And there's a lot of argument yeah. uh, against it. But there's constantly an argument about something in India. Do, do you feel it, should, it will work? I mean, if we keep... The, uh, I think one of the things that's annoying about our country is that how people keep stopping progress because of some objection. But it's you not, genuinely feel in India, religion is given more importance than law and other things? Well, there's different... There are different laws for different religions. Yeah, that's, so that's... I don't understand how we can think as one nation if we actually are different nations. Right. So we're not secular because when I say secular, I mean that law should be separate from religion. Right, right. Um, and you can be uh, whatever can you are at home. You can be a Parsi or sure. a Jain or a Hindu or a Muslim and that's right. great. Right. But there should be one law. But I'm told that will really hurt the minorities. You know, people were paranoid that our prime minister would be some kind of dangerous person to minorities. Yeah. But, and that's not the case. I mean, I heard him speaking about Pakistan. I've never heard an Indian prime minister say something so positive about Pakistan. Right whatever and, and tension is pretty high with Pakistan at the moment so I think we all need to get in line with one person and fix our country do you think uh, this Prime Minister so far has been fair to everyone I don't know whether he's been fair to everyone but I like the sound he, he's spoken to me I, I is the first person that's made sense Otherwise, India is always about somebody else I mean I think everybody's feeling positive about um, having him in charge because you know whether it's foreign investment or whether whatever departments he's talking about sanitation the kind of he seems to be working with a lot of energy and uh, there's a he's lot of positivity. People, yeah. There's a lot of positivity and he's making a huge effort. You know, and previous governments have removed the princes from power and said Garibi Hatao and kind of become princes themselves. Governments have minted money from this country in thousands and thousands of crores of scams. So I, I think it's time now that we had a working man. Uh, take charge. I mean, I think when you vote also, any civilized nation votes for a father figure. So it depends who you want for a father. And given all these guys, I'd rather he was like a father figure to me. He seems like, a, you know, a stable father figure compared to somebody who's a bit too fascist, somebody who's, who's, who's a bit too juvenile. Not accessible. Yeah, sure. Or too juvenile or too elitist or whatever the case may be. Sir, is Special Marriages Act one of the best things to happen? I think the Special Marriages Act is a lovely act where people get to keep their religion and nobody has to change. And I pretty much thought, you know, like, um, I mean, if Soha gets married, that will also be in the Special Marriages Act, where she remains a Muslim and she marries a Hindu. Uh, so it's, it's a sign of the times. I'm Karina and I getting married and her not changing her religion, me not changing mine. At home, do you celebrate Diwali, Eid, everything? Yes, of course. In fact, sometimes we celebrate Eid a little less, which is strange. I don't know why. But uh, we celebrate more of Diwali and, um, you know, um, Christmas. Seth, you know, you were talking about laws. Do you think, how do you think, since there's change and there's a new Prime Minister, do you think laws should change? Islam laws should change, Hindu laws should change. It, is it time for laws to change? I'm saying there should be one law for everybody. I don't know about so laws changing. So are these laws outdated? Uh, it's generally, it doesn't seem to be a great sign when a country reverts to Sharia law. It doesn't seem to be a good sign when a country is ruled by a religion. It's never really been an amazing thing like a country the law of a land has to come from a morality that's based on logic and human values and not on uh, not on religion is my view thank you as always thank you